Yo, how's everyone doing? Welcome to the GHC Weekly. So this week has been an absolute monster of a week. We've had Steve, who has been on holiday, enjoying himself, which has left us short-staffed. We've also had so much to do in that short space of time. So many jobs on the go, it's absolutely mental. If you're new to the channel and you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you do. The link is in the corner. Smash that for me. Turn notifications on and you will get the satisfaction knowing that when we drop another GHC Weekly, which is every weekend, you can see what we've been up to here at the GHC. So this week we have been insulating, well Sean has been insulating within an inch of his life, which has been absolutely wonderful. Insulation is almost, almost done. All we've got now is 50 mil over the top of, well, should I say over the top, underneath all these timbers. And that's done then. Apart from that awkward thing there. All we've got to do, 100 mil in between, 50 mil over the top, happy days. I think this has been a right freaking. Mm. Mm. See in there, you've got 50 mil over all that, but in between all that, you've got 125 mil. Oh, it's been freaking one hell of a job, this. One hell of a job. So, yeah, there you go, look. All that. Got to insulate that wall as well because it's not deep enough insulation. Let's give you a quick 360. Then me, Jack, and Clay have been really busy. I'm actually really proud of how it's come out there. Look at that. It's been cut around these timbers absolutely perfect. Beautiful job. So he's been really, really, really enjoying himself. I have been getting on with the Scout Hut, which is where I'm in right now. So here we've also been wiring in outside lights. We've had the emergency lights, which were not actually part of the original job, have decided they want to be underwater. That is brilliant. So we've sorted those out. I've also changed the DB here. So the DB was medieval and we've now upgraded it. And we're going to show you in a, in a moment what we've installed. So Lou has also been over at the bedroom job. Same with me. We managed to get the first fix electrics and plumbing sorted. And then Lou stayed on after that to get on with a bit of plastering, which is absolutely a fan dabby dosa. So that job is all waiting now for, oh yeah, also installed a radiator, got that smashed out. So that was great. So that is done. Um, what else have we been doing? What else have we been doing? Oh, Full Fat Friday. So for those of you who don't know what Full Fat Friday is, as a company, what we tend to do is we try and meet up all together and have a massive big fat fry up. So whether that is breakfast or lunch, depending on the time and what the jobs have basically led us to, to do really. Um, so we've done that. That was great, absolutely fantastic. If you want to know what I had, I had fish and chips. Fish and chips. So yeah, so there's been absolute loads. I've also set off a fire alarm system by accident. This is the set alarm in question. For some reason, I thought it'd be a good idea just to say, I thought it was just gonna be a push one, gently push it and it'll set it off. Um, because I don't know, I don't know why. Impulsive thoughts and I did it and it didn't, it broke the glass and I've had to replace it and that was stupid. So note to self, don't do that. That was absolutely ridiculous. I've had to relabel and scan what actually everything is in this building because it's all an absolute mess. So we've done all those things. It's been a busy week. So here is the board in question. So the board that was installed before it was a very, very old board with no RCD protection whatsoever. And now we've fitted a new fuse box board with SPD and full RCBOs, apart from these three here, these three MCBs uh, here actually control the heater modules with contactors and stuff like that in there. Uh, and this on here is actually for the powering up of the MCBs. Now I don't normally do three phase boards, I'll be honest with you. It's something that it was, you know, 99% of our work is all domestic. And have I enjoyed it? Yes. Do, would I be rushing to do more? No. Um, I'm, they're okay. They're okay. But what I find with these, right, and this is a genuine question for, for all of you guys. Where the hell do you hide all of the flying leads for the RCBOs? I mean, in the three-phase boards, you've got nowhere to hide anything. So it's just ridiculous. I don't get it. So I know if... 
So on domestic boards, you've got places where you can hide all the flying leads, and that's great. So what I've done in this one, I've ended up zip-tying um, them all down into a line, and it just comes down into basically a tail, um, and then use some adhesive uh, fixings back onto it to hold them all tight and neat. I mean, it's, it's all right. Would I be, you know, saying it's the, the best board you'll ever see? No, it definitely won't be, um, but it's about 3 billion percent tidier and more identified than the last one. So yeah, so it's been a bit of a pig. Um, I was underneath that cupboard doing that because I've had to extend all the cables as well, well not all of them, most of them. Had to extend all those, which was an absolute nightmare, which just ate all the time. And obviously if you notice, it's underneath some stairs. So I spent all day pretty much like that. And yeah, not comfortable, not comfortable. So yeah, so it was not, not much fun. Um, I've also done a lot of the fire clips in here, so above here where you've got fire exits and stuff like that, we've ended up putting banding strap and fire clips inside those. Same as out here, because we also had a uh, dead short as well. So we had a dead short on the outside security light. So the outside here, let's go out here. You know what I'm saying. So outside here, above, up there, there is uh, used to be another security light, which when I came before, it was a dead short. So we've had to have that isolated for such a long time. Um, so we replaced all that and all the wiring outside was all uh, twin and earth, starting to break down, wasn't good. Don't ever use twin and earth outside because it is not appropriate cable for that. So we've rerouted it all and ended up with just the whisker box and obviously the tail for the light. By doing it a completely different way, so if you can see that trunking goes all the way up to the top, so we pulled it back down and re-drilled through uh, a more suitable location, which is what should have happened in the first place, because that was stupid going all the way, whoever did that. Um, done a bit of labeling up so we know what's what, so when people come in here, because there's multiple people use this premises, so there's multiple groups, play groups, and all that sort of stuff. Um, nice. Um, so, a bit more labelling has gone involved. I've also done replaced all the security lighting out on the side out here because that was, again, knackered some of the lights anyway and all wired in twin and earth, so we've got rid of all of that um, and we've now put a bit of conduit in. Let's go and see if we can see out here. So, on the side of the building, so we've now got the uh, new floodlights up there which are actually much bigger leading up to this one and then it goes round to the corner so from that point round I couldn't get internally because there is um, oh, there's no access basically up, up to that point so we've had to just run that round in conduit but the rest of it is all internal so yeah so I've had oh yeah that was the other thing so we've had on the side as well there was there's a security light on the side here to rewire all of that um, because again it was done really weird also the consumer unit that fed that was knackered as well so the rcd in it was faulty and by doing it this way with the new board we managed to get rid of that and kill two birds in one stone if that makes any sense by removing it and installing it slightly differently now there is a couple more things that i need to do here um, but we're gonna have to run well run out of time we're gonna have to rebook them because it is half term so as of monday morning this place will be full again and i have to wait then until the next phase in the next school break, I suppose. So yeah, so it's been one hell of a job. Right, I wanna have a shout out for today's sponsor. And today's sponsor is Tradeify. So for those of you who don't know what Tradeify is, it is a job management software and it works absolutely perfectly for a job like this. So here, we've had so many repairs that we need to do and a load of extras, because when I came out to test this, a long time ago, and I mean a long time ago, that was fine. Since then, there's been damaged equipment, so we've had two sockets that have smashed out, we've had security lights that need replacing because they're broken, we've got a um, an emergency light that was actually full of water. So what I've had to do is then jump back in my van, get on my phone, sort out the quote for it, because as you probably gather, a place like this, everything needs quotes and prior approval. So I've quickly jumped in, sent that over to them. They've managed to authorize it straight away, which is then I've had a notification to come back and say, yes, so I can crack on with the job, which has meant I can earn more money, which is 
actually a massive winner. So if you want to do it like we did it, we did a 14 day free trial and it genuinely is a free trial. There's no details to put in. That is absolutely wicked. There's another little thing I'm going to add in there. Another little thing, you can add notes to your jobs as well, which is exactly what we've done here because there's been so many alterations and changes. You can drop open a note and just message and put down, bang, 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 everything that needs to be sorted so everybody else who's connected to this job can see what has been done or not been done, if that makes any sense. So use a 14-day free trial, which is in the link below in the description. And it is genuinely a free trial. You've got literally nothing to lose. Make sure, so even if you just think, do you know what, I'm going to see what all, all the buzz is about. You've got nothing to lose. Give it a whirl and then use the promo code GHAWK30. You'll get 30% off for the first three months. So thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, like I said, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Turn your notifications on and we shall see you in the next one.